If a movie is in your weekend plans, there is something for everyone at the box office this weekend. Live at 4 movie critic Will Loper is here with the Loper Report. Hi, Will. Hello. So we've got a showdown this weekend. We've got Melissa McCarthy going after Batman and Superman to battle it out for the top spot at the box office. And it might be a closer fight than you think. Here's a look at the new movie's opening. These look delicious. Mm. Oh, I don't want to be critical, but this is very chewy. Cool. You're eating a hand towel. Just uh, cleansing my palate. <laughs> She's been a spy. She's been a bridesmaid. And she's had Michelle Lee report on her. The robber was last seen driving an older model Cadillac, hauling a jet ski. The suspect and now Melissa McCarthy stars as Michelle Darnell, a jailed insider trader in The Boss. You're bankrupt. All your accounts have been frozen. Claire, get me a new lawyer. Once released, Michelle must get back on her feet and moves in with her former assistant Claire, played by Kristen Bell. Huh, look at that. A bed and a sofa. Careful, it's a bit temperamental. It's not so bad. Oh, I think I've shattered my palace. And what better way to turn her life around than with Girl Scout cookies? We are going to start a brownie empire and teach these girls real business skills. The boss is rated R. Demolition stars Jake Gyllenhaal as Davis, an investment banker struggling to keep his life together after his wife dies in a car crash. Now that she's gone, I don't even feel sad or pain. Where exactly are you feeling No. Sort of in this whole area right here. He begins to write complaint letters to a vending machine company, which catches the eye of a customer service rep played by Naomi Watts. Hi. Are you for real right now? There's some random guy eating in our house. The man's wife just died. Have some compassion. The two make a connection, and Davis begins to put his life back together. What are we doing again? We're taking apart my marriage. Demolition is rated R. Finally, if you've ever played a video game and wondered, why don't they just make a whole movie about this? Then Hardcore Henry is the movie for you. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Hold on, shoot. Described as approximately 95% action, there's not much more to say than what you see here. You've got a kidnapped wife, mercenaries, a bad guy with a plan for world domination, and lots of things blowing up. The most important thing might be remembering to pack the motion sickness pills. Hardcore Henry is rated R. I was just going to say, I've got a little bit of a headache uh, watching yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, on a YouTube, on a small computer, that might be okay, but I think a big screen, you might get a little motion sickness. So that's how this all started on mm -hmm. YouTube, and they shot the whole movie by a GoPro? Yeah, they built a special mask and just strapped a GoPro to some guy's face and just shot an hour and a half pretty much like that. Wow, so. that's an interesting concept. And, and there's a great quote from the New York Daily News. You could go see Hardcore Henry, or you could gulp down a pint of vodka loading Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> then strap the TV to your face and throw yourself down the stairs. <laughs> so I think right there sums up the experience of Hardcore Henry. That is well said. Yes. And Melissa McCarthy yes. just makes you laugh. Is Michelle Lee in this one? <laughs> no, we but hope? she should be. I mean, maybe we should insert her ourselves. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think so, but, too. I think so, yeah. too. But she is just so fun. Oh, yeah, she is. Yeah. And Demolition looks interesting, too. More serious. Yeah, yeah. A little more more serious we'll see I mean the reviews are kind of mixed right now but I think Jake Gyllenhaal is always great and right. everything he does as well so well as we said something for everybody that's right and we will see your reviews Monday morning Monday on morning. News 3 this morning yep. all right thanks a lot we'll have thanks. a great weekend you too. we'll be right back